okay, we're going to try this one more time because I have to stay under 15 minutes because of YouTube regulations and everything for my channel and I'm on a new tablet. I've not done a tutorial before, but I'm going to try to do one today for you um, of these little hats, whoops, of these little um, sunbonnets that I throw into Happy Mail and um, make for my Happy Mail, mail um, ladies. I make these little bonnets and everybody has requested on how to make them. They're really easy. They're called bottle cap um, sun hats. You start with a bottle cap lid. I suggest a soda lid because it's taller. If you use a water bottle one, it doesn't work as well. You need a scrap of fabric, approximately four by four. You want your pattern not to be huge. You want it to be relatively um, small. You're going to take your bottle cap lid, turn your fabric right side down, take your bottle cap lid and your glue gun, and you're going to place just a small amount of glue in the middle of the top of the bottle cap. You're going to place it in the middle of that square and you're going to kind of smush it down because oh, it didn't heat up right. Don't tell me this thing's not hot enough because I didn't, I don't want any extreme time on it. And you want it in the middle and you want to make it as flat as possible because you don't want it to show. So you end up with your bottle cap in the middle of your four by four square. Now the idea is that we're going to take that fabric and as smoothly as possible we're going to cup it up around the bottle cap. We're going to come along and put glue right on the very rim of the lid. Just a small bit because you're going to work just a little bit at a time. You're going to make sure that it's flat going up and then pinch it towards the bottom. And if you end up with a little bit of a wrinkle, that's okay. That's fine. You don't want it to be huge. You want it to be as flat as you can. Make the wrinkle come out so that when you hold, uh, when you hold um, it out flat, that the wrinkles on the brim part of the hat not on the where the hat band would be and you're going to work all the way around doing that thing where you pull and then kind of squeeze it and then try to smooth it out as flat as you can do it until you get like this okay again i've done some of these steps ahead of time because I'm on, on a 15 minute time limit. Um, now you can either, you can put a cup over it and trace around it and cut your circle, but I just freehand it. And so I cut a half an inch to an inch out from the rim of the hat in a circular trying to keep it as circular as we can and then you want to trim it to make sure that you have stayed pretty much the same distance all the way around and then you end up with something like this now I use a lighter or you can use a candle this part you have to be extremely careful of because it will catch it a fire, but you want to stop the fraying of the fabric and kind of give it that finished vintage look to it. So be prepared because this can catch on fire relatively easy. I like it to catch on fire a little bit, but I don't want it to be overly burnt. So you go around your edges, caught fire there, um, 
all the way around your edges. So this, this is pretty simple. It's a pretty simple project. It's really quick. It's really easy. You push it down flat. When you push it down flat, you can see that it has that hat shape. And then you will take a look at where, like I have a little bit too much on one end. I need to trim that down just a hair and refire it because it's just a little bit too wide on that part. Okay, so when you push it down flat, you can it kind of you look around, then you look for where you want the tails of the back. And you're going to grab some type of ribbon. I have some rickrack ribbon. You can go wide, like on this one. I've gone wide hat band with um, flat back pearls. This one I'm going to go a little bit smaller. You want your tails. You do want to make sure that when you go around it that you're leaving enough so that there's tails on both ends of it. And then you're just going to tack that down with your hot glue. Make sure, ow, careful, hot glue it can be very, very hot at times. You're going to tack it down with your hot glue and get rid of all of your little stringies. My hot glue is not participating with me correctly. And so then you have your little tails hanging off. You might want to trim them up just a little bit if you need to, depending on what you're using. This stuff doesn't fray very bad, so I don't have to fire it. But you might have to burn the ends of the ribbon to make sure it doesn't fray. Okay. So then you have your little hat with the hat band around it. Now you're going to decide what to adorn it with. And we're going to grab some little flowers, little tiny flowers, and we're just going to put a little dab of hot glue down there and put our flowers down. Oh, come on. Dang it! Dogs just pulled the hot glue down. Go that down. Go on. <laughs> I'm babysitting my friend's dogs. So then you have your little bit of flowers, and you might put little beads or seashells, whatever you want to make your hat um, look right. Now, the biggest point of this whole thing is that you're going to cut a circle that's similar to the size. I'm just using the top of this ribbon thing right now. That's about the right circle. So I'm going to trace this on to 110 pounds of cardstock. And I'm going to cut it out. And then I'm going to adhere this to the bottom of that cardstock. But my cardstock's in another area right now, so I can't do that right this second. But you want to do that. One, it hides all the bottle cap and everything. And also, when you send it in Happy Mail, it gives it stability. So that when you put it on your projects, or use it in any of those type of things, that um, it, it doesn't like flop around and bend and everything. That cardstock will help hold it so that it's like holds it flat so that you can see that it's a hat and everything so you do want to make sure that you put that under there and I recommend that you use 110 pounds because of the stability it gives to it um, I love to drop these into happy mail I love to use them on frames they are dimensional they're quite thick as you can see they're like half an inch thick so you're not going to put them on flat projects but you'll put them on to alter a box or picture frames they're lovely on picture frames with little girls in party dresses they look really cool um i make matching little 
parasols out of toothpicks. Well, this one is to go with the purple ones. This one's to go with the creamish white ones. So you can just like put those together on the corner of a picture frame or on the parasols lay flat enough that you can actually put them into a scrapbook or onto a flatter project. But the hats are more dimensional. So that is how to make a bottle cap hat. Like I said, it's quick, it's easy, it's simple. It helps bring a smile to someone else when you drop a couple of them into their happy mail. And I hope that if you had any questions, that you would just write them in the comments and I will try to get back to you. Hope this video works this time. This is my second time doing it. And if you like my videos, please subscribe. I'm trying to get the parasol one out, an update of why I've not been on, and all of that to you as quickly as I can. Um, I have a new tablet, so I don't know if this is going to work, but for now, we will say bye. <laughs> Love y'all.